Hey, what's up guys? Wicked Android HD here and yep, this is a brand new surprise for you. I'm recording this during daytime. Yep, it's 12 o'clock p.m. And today I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest release for, from Albi95 developer on the on XDA. It's called Astra Note 5 port. And uh, let me show you real quick. So, as you may see, Astra next, uh, Note 5 port version 1.0 and it's running Aurora ROM, of course. Uh, it's a port based on the Galaxy S6 5.1.1 firmware, which is really cool. So, right now I'm running Android 5.1.1 on my Galaxy S4 um, <clears throat> along with this beautiful Note 5 user interface. Um, as I do always uh, mentioned before proceeding to my reviews in order to initiate uh, my viewers with what I'm going to be talking about. So I will discuss everything about the design part, the performance part, the battery life. Anyway, I started this review at 92%. Please make sure you notice at the end of the video how much of the battery uh, is left so you can make an idea of how, how fast this battery drains out with this ROM. So 92%, take in mind. So performance, smoothness, uh, system UI friendliness and uh, you know the box and the pros and the cons which I will discuss in the following minutes. So <clears throat> I will start with the negative parts of this ROM and uh, at the end I'll tell you all about the pros because I think it's best for you guys to know what's uh, bad about this ROM. Uh, primarily then we'll get into the, the best parts so first of all it may lag from time to time because it's a port um, port ports are um, I don't know how to say it maybe firmwares maybe softwares that were meant to run properly and lag free on a device then they were ported by incrementing the new uh, the apps from a device to another and making the system UI the firmware again compatible with the Galaxy S4 for example so it's been ported from the from the Note 5 to the Galaxy S4 and right now it's uh, moving pretty fast now you'll notice and I and I saw this problem with all the Galaxy S4 that I checked out on YouTube running custom ROMs that there is hell of a lot of lag when I press the multi window as you may see not the multi window, the recent tab panel. As you may see there is some lag, some really nasty lag. And this is not only, I don't think it's a port, it's a problem of this port because um, I noticed this also on the official Galaxy S4 firmware for Lollipop 5.0.1. So, yep, that's a uh, that's really bad thing from Samsung. But this is really nasty as you saw it's catering yeah um <clears throat> other box since it is a port uh, you won't get uh, all of the note 5 features for example so if we open up camera and uh, let's say we we want to take a slow motion video as you may see it is starting to you know lag and if we go into the media preview and click the slow motion button it will force close so as you may see slow and fast motion video player has stopped so not every single thing that's been ported from the Note 5 will work on the Galaxy S4 taking in mind that it has different hardware and different um, utilities um, <clears throat> Apart from that, there is some lag from time to time, as I told you, since it's running a our kernel, uh, it's been uh, overhauled in order to work with the with all these ports. Um, apart from that, it is working pretty fluid, and I'm really impressed on uh, Albi's work. Um, so, speaking about the performance, uh, oh another bug and then we'll get into the performance part the screen mirroring isn't working 
he told uh, that into the changelog. I don't think it it will be working ever. I don't know. So yep, that was the these were the bugs. These were the bugs that I had to get into discussion. Now let's get into the categories that I want to discuss about this ROM. Performance. Um, as you may see, I load up every widget here, including smart widgets, which shows you the uh, random access memory, storage, the battery life. So it's 73% used, and I haven't installed any kind of apps. And this is uh, not a really great sign of performance, um, just because it will um, get up full really fast and uh, Android is really working hard on RAM management and it's always been working hard in order to make it uh, lag free, you know, changing, switching, killing apps more more smoothly and um, having a huge amount of RAM used isn't really good for your device. Um, battery right now is 90% um, so the fact is I loaded up hell of a lot of uh, widgets here, set up my weather widget, um, open up some apps, phone for example, you know, clock, if we open up some apps and then we'll try and switch back and forth as you may see you have this lag but then it's okay so you can go again into calculator, you can use the edge screen in order to open calculator, yeah, you know, and of course in order to add the uh, more apps, for example, my files. Right now, you can get fast into my files. Yeah, so that's the the thing about performance. Uh, I would rate it a strong, let's see, eight out of ten in terms of performance because it has the smoothness and the stability of uh, the, a strong touch with ROM. But as I told you before, since it is a port. It uh, lags may occur from time to time. I'm not saying that on the Galaxy Note 5 or the Galaxy S6 lags won't occur, but it, they won't occur as often because they have different hardwares which were ma mainly built for this. The software was mainly built for their hardwares. So, again, 8 out of 10 is a really great uh, rank in terms of performance. Okay, so we talked about performance, let's get into the design part. Um, it is a touch with ROM, so you couldn't expect so many customizability settings like you would on uh, any other CM ROM, for example, CM ROMs, uh, ASP, or so on. When you have tons and tons of customizations on Lollipop, for example, you know, setting out the seconds into the clocks, uh, customizing tiles. Yeah, you can customize tiles, but not uh, as free as uh, not as. Uh, you don't have as many options as you would have on uh, a Cyanogen mode ROM. Um, so, uh, again, it is uh, a Galaxy Note 5 port and of course it benefits of themes which allows you to customize every single icon and every single color and every single, you know, look of uh, the system user interface by downloading different themes. You can access them uh, by having a Samsung account. I don't have any time to to show you right now, but I showed you in previous video videos about uh, LB Sport. So, yep. So, customizability, since uh, it is, uh, um, for example, if it would, if it was a um, Samsung Galaxy S4 firmware, official firmware based on TouchWiz, I would rate it. Uh, 6 out of 10 because you don't have any kind of customizability um, instead uh, of uh, you know just downloading exposed and customizing as as much as you want but by default this ROM comes with uh, since the port comes with themes which allows you to customize by your taste uh, every single settings every single icon so I would rate it 9 out of 10 since it is a touch with ROM and we have to take this into consideration by default, it is great. So, design nine out of ten. Albis has great say has done a great work integrating all of these features in this ROM. Um, smoothness and battery life. Smoothness isn't the same thing as performance. Performance, 
I'm talking about performance about the fact that I need to you know open up an app switch before between uh, um, back and forth between the apps but smoothness in my opinion is how how fast you can access mainly features about this ROM not uh, not actually opening apps or so on so smoothness for example means for me how fast it opens up when uh, pressing the home button in order to unlock your device you know it's a little bit sluggish and I have to admit um, it will it may get hell of a lot of laggy so about uh, five seconds from when I press the button and until the screen uh, pops up uh, turns on but um, it's a port and we have to admit that uh, it is great for what it what it gives you so, or like this the mold the recent tab panel either way let's check out the multi window because I didn't actually okay new Google Play Store get started okay and multi window let's see with my files and Google Play Store so as you may see multi window is working great take a look from the from the side of the phone okay so it's working great not such a big lag it's working as it should as it is normally working on an official or even on an official the firmware for Galaxy S4 so smoothness I will rate it strong 8 out of 10 and now the battery part it was 92% when we started the video as far as I remember and right now it's 88% so 4% 4% was used during this review uh, no animal were kills were killed <laughs> and uh, it's pretty impressive 88% it's not even been um, really calibrated you know after you flash a ROM in order to see the real uh, screen on time or it's really battery a uh, really uh, realistic battery life you'll have to charge your device at least twice from 0 to 100% then it will get okay with the battery but since it hasn't been calibrated and it's only been it's only been used to but 4% with uh, with uh, the brightness almost set full and uh, it's been almost 30 minutes since I've been talking shit up here so it's really it's really great to have this so 88% toggles you saw this before everything is working flashlight as you may see uh, ultra power saving mode it's a feature that's been integrated and has been developed by Samsung since uh, the Galaxy S5, yes, the Galaxy S5. Let's see if it works perfectly on this port. So, yep, it will have to calculate how many uh, hours or days you have left on your on using uh, auto processing mode. So, phone app. Yep, it has some lags. So, turn off auto processing mode. Configuring device. Yep, it will take some time in order to, you know, as you may see here, learn usage patterns and then you'll be able to close your device because it's not really good for your device to recalculate again and again. It should it should calibrate all its uh, features from the beginning. So right now it's turning off ultra power signal after it uh, finished the calibration. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the... I really like about this ROM and about the Note 5 and how Samsung managed to, you know, to customize their their widgets. Everything is transparent and this gives you a more minimalistic look to your device, to your touchwiz launcher, even though I won't use it uh, well, if I had a, Gal a Galaxy Note 5. I would of course use a the Nova launcher along with the touchwiz ROM because it seems to be more stable and uh, camera is, is way better than the ASP ROM so without further ado uh, this was the review of the Astra 1.0 first release of uh, Albi95 developer on XDA make sure you click thumbs up for him uh, and thanks on uh, all credits goes to him of this beautiful ROM 
on uh, the XDA thread. I'll put a link in the description with all the files you need and the XDA thread in order to flash this beautiful ROM. And of course, if you like this video, please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. It keeps me motivating doing this kind of stuff. And thank you for watching, guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye bye.